Brian Chambers was a 16-year-old with a slight learning disability. On October 17, 1979, at approximately 3 p.m. Brian's mother received a phone call. The only words she could make out were boy, place, money. Brian's mother hung up on the caller not knowing at that time that her son was missing. James Jetter was Brian's friend. Brian's neighbor Sylvester Lewis Adams rode a bicycle into Jetter's backyard where he was raking leaves. Sylvester had a tire tool, a gun, and a pair of gloves in his possession. Sylvester told Jetter he was going to break into the house next door to steal money. After entering the house, Sylvester attempted to solicit Jetter's aid in removing a safe he had allegedly found there. Jetter refused. Sylvester then stated he would await Brian's return home from school to get the combination. Jetter spoke with Brian in Brian's front yard when he returned home a few minutes later. He did not warn Brian that Sylvester was inside because he was afraid. A short time later, Jetter saw Sylvester lead Brian into the woods with something white tied around Brian's neck. He appeared to be resisting Sylvester. He was taken from his home and strangled to death in a wooded area directly behind the house. A search for Brian was conducted by Jetter's father and Brian's father Mr. Mitchell in the early evening. Jetter became concerned about his friend and asked Sylvester where he was. Sylvester told him Brian was tied up in an abandoned house and he would be released when Brian's parents gave Sylvester some money. He also told Jetter he had attempted a ransom call but Brian's mother had hung up on him before he could tell her where to deliver the money. Brian's body was found covered with brush by rescue workers the following day. Two days after the killing, Jetter told the police for the first time that he knew about the incident. Mr. Mitchell testified that on the evening of his son's death, when he and a neighbor were searching for Brian with the aid of Brian's small dog, Sylvester had frightened them away from the area where Brian's body was later found by appearing with his pit bulldog, allegedly to aid in the search. Sylvester Adams was arrested and charged with the kidnapping and murder of Brian Chambers, housebreaking, and armed robbery. A jury convicted him and sentenced him to death. He was executed by lethal injection in South Carolina on August 18, 1995. Later, at least one of the jurors came forward and said that she would not have voted for death if she had known Sylvester was retarded. Her vote for life would have spared Adams.